Big Tractor Power is out in a western Kentucky cornfield with a 1500 bushel Brent 1594 grain cart. We're going to spend time watching this massive grain cart moving the corn harvest along. It's being pulled by a 620 horsepower John Deere 9620 RX four track tractor. We'll see this big tractor and grain cart working with three Class 8 John Deere S680 combines that hold 400 bushels of grain and they're harvesting 12 rows of corn at a time with John Deere 612C corn heads. We'll spend time up in the cab of the John Deere 9620RX seeing the grain cart operator's perspective along with some time in the cab of the John Deere 680 combine seeing the combine operator's perspective on unloading on the go and we'll follow the grain cart in the field as well as up to the trucks on loading. I hope that you'll enjoy seeing all this corn harvesting action with the big Brent 1594 grain cart. We'll talk about its specifications and see it in action. So I hope that you'll enjoy this big tractor power video. When you're harvesting several thousand acres of corn that is yielding over 200 bushels an acre, it doesn't take long to fill up a 400 bushel Class 8 combine. And it's good to have a big grain cart to keep that harvest moving along so the combines are always harvesting. The grain cart is always moving that grain from the combine to the waiting trucks that haul it back to the farm for storage. When the combine is completely full, it has three amber lights on it, two mounted on either side of the cab roof and one on the back. And when those lights begin to flash, that signals the grain cart operator that it's time to move in and unload the combine. up in the cab of the John Deere 9620RX four-track tractor and it's helpful to have a large articulated four-wheel drive size tractor when you're pulling a big 1500 bushel cart like the Brent 1594. This cart empty weight is 23,410 pounds and it can fit almost four grain bin loads from the 400 bushel John Deere S680 combines. When this cart is weighed up with grain, the grain will weigh over 90,000 pounds in addition to the weight of the cart. And it's helpful to have that 620 horsepower from this John Deere 9620 RX to move the cart across the field. When it's loaded and racing back to the trucks, it has several slopes to go through and over in this few hundred acre field. And then it needs to hurry back once it's unloaded to the combines because they will be full again. And it's important to have that power and speed to keep this harvest moving as efficiently as possible.
in the cab of the John Deere S680 Combine. This machine is rated at 473 horsepower. It holds 400 bushels of grain. It's harvesting 12 rows of corn that span 30 feet with a John Deere 612C corn head. It unloads grain at 3.8 bushels per second. While we watch this combine unload on the go, let's talk about the Brent 1594's specifications. The Brent 1594 is part of the Avalanche series of grain carts manufactured by Unverfirth under the Brent grain cart name. The 94 series includes grain carts from 1,100 bushels all the way up to 1,500 bushels. The carts were manufactured from about 2007 through 2012. Today, Brent offers the updated 96 series carts, which go all the way up to 2,000 bushels. The Brent 1594 has a capacity of 1,500 bushels of grain. Its empty weight is 23,410 pounds. Its loaded tongue weight is 5,500 pounds. It has a width of 13 feet, a length of 34 feet 2 inches. Transport height is 12 feet 9 inches. The loading side height is 11 feet 5 inches. That's the side that we see being filled here from the combine. Its auger height can range from 12 feet 4 inches to 15 feet 5 inches, so it's adjustable to clear different sized trucks. The vertical auger has a 22 inch diameter. The horizontal auger has a 20 inch diameter. Its onload time is an impressive 1 minute and 3 fourths seconds for all 1,500 bushels, and the minimum tractor horsepower rating for this grain cart is 300 plus horsepower. And again, it's being pulled by a 620 horsepower John Deere 9620RX out in this field. And a lot of people always like to use the minimal horsepower they can, but I will tell you with the rolling slopes in this field, it's very helpful to have a big 620 horsepower tractor pulling this cart back and forth as quickly as possible. Available exclusively on the Brent Avalanche Model 1594 are self-steering tandem axles. All four wheels automatically turn in unison with the tractor for enhanced maneuverability. This really helps when the tractor and grain cart are unloading with one combine and then it needs to make a quick turn and go back to the next combine following right behind and unload that one as well.
When it's time to unload the Brent 1594, it can be done in a hurry. This cart has a lot of maneuverability. Again, its unloading auger can reach from 10 feet 4 inches all the way up to 15 feet 5 inches to clear semi-trucks. This big cart will fill a semi-truck and a half with its contents. Each semi-truck holds 1,000 bushels of grain. Again, this big cart will unload corn at 1 minute and 3 fourths seconds, so it can really move a lot of grain in a hurry to keep that harvest moving along. I hope you've enjoyed spending time out in the field hearing and seeing and learning about all of this big equipment working together. With the Brent 1594 Avalanche Grain Cart, the John Deere 9620RX Tractor, and the three John Deere S680 Combines. It's always impressive to see all this machinery and I hope that you enjoyed seeing the perspective of each person operating the equipment. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you are already a subscriber, thank you and make sure to check Big Tractor Power YouTube's homepage often as new videos are uploaded every two to three days. If you have any questions or thoughts you'd like to share, put them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you'd like to get a preview of what's coming to Big Tractor Power YouTube next, check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what's currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.